If you're asking yourself, can I take this shot? One thing you need to take into account is the weather. Wind and rain are probably the most predominant when you're out hunting, as well as cold. These are all factors that you're gonna run into in the field. So these are things that you need to practice in. If it's raining outside, don't think, oh, I don't need to practice because it's raining. No, that's when you should be practicing because your bow will perform differently. When the strings are wet, everything's heavier, everything's slower, therefore your arrow is gonna shoot lower. When the wind's blowing, even a five mile per hour wind can push your arrow significantly off course. These are all things you're gonna encounter out in the field. So these are things that you need to practice and know how your bow performs before you ever get out and draw back on an animal. Another thing that I notice is when my body's cold, my physical performance is down. I can't hold the bow back as long, I'm shaking, my hands are numb, and it's a mental game. When your body's cold, it doesn't perform as well as when it's warm. What I like to do is I call it my effective target range. In practice, that's how well I can hit a target this size at whatever range. I get proficient at that, I move back, I move back, I move back. Now, practice that in cold weather. Your effective range will be less than it is when you're in ideal conditions. So you need to know what your effective ranges are in varying climates. That way you always make an ethical shot on the animal.